I'm trying to go into the league and make an instant impact. I ain't trying to wait a couple years. You know, so I'm just trying to get ready. Dewan Marquette Sr., born February 4th, 1983. If you follow high school basketball, you know there's a player from the 2023 class that's been making noise for a few years now and is solidly ranked as the number one high school player across the board. Fitting because his father more than 20 years ago held the same number one position as the best player in high school and both well deserved relative to their times. But the difference to me, a person that was also aware of high school basketball in the early 2000s, the energy around senior was a lot different. When they talk about phenoms and amateur superstars, those words could sit right next to Dewan Wagner Sr. For the younger audience that understands the greatness of high school LeBron and the attention that surrounded him in high school, Dewan Wagner was the first LeBron and in his hometown Camden, New Jersey, I hate to use this term, but Dewan Wagner was like a god to those people during those times, even being gifted the nickname the Messiah in Camden. Literally, you couldn't get a seat to watch his high school games if you didn't either camp out, know someone, came with the team, or showed up a minute late. The hype surrounding this kid was almost excessive. I truly believe had it been anyone else, it may have been too much. For Wagner, he handled it like it was second nature to him and raised the bar every time it was set and thought he couldn't exceed expectations. He was everything as a high school talent. If you could dream the achievements you would want as a high school basketball player, Dewan Wagner was that. A surefire NBA superstar in the making at the time, and still to this day, I don't think I've seen a player with his kind of following at that level. Not even LeBron. Dewan's was cult-like, and he deserved it. He averaged over 27 points as a high school freshman, 35 as a sophomore. His season high just kept growing and growing, 45 to 57 to 80 as a junior to actually scoring 100 points as a senior in a game. Imagine what that must have felt like in 2000-2001. Allen Iverson was taking over the NBA at the time with his streetball style game, an image that related to every neighborhood kid at the time, and Dewan Wagner was the Allen Iverson of high school basketball. He scored 50 or more five times, including that explosion for 100, and averaged an insane 43 points his senior year, running away with the number one player in the country ranking. He became the all-time leading scorer in New Jersey high school history, and if you didn't know, he's considered one of the greatest high school players of all time. His high school achievements will forever be respected. But that's kind of where it all stopped. No, he didn't go on to become a college and NBA star, leading to a Hall of Fame career like 100% expected. Actually, not even close. And for these three reasons, let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth. Let's get it, man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Dewan Wagner was a 6'2 combo guard from Camden, New Jersey that, as mentioned, took high school basketball by storm in the early 2000s, an era where streetball was just making a name for itself nationally and streetball moves were being popularized and at its peak in the NBA. He was in the perfect era for his style game and also the energy he carried himself with as just one of the guys from the block you could relate to. These were the times all the kids didn't have personal trainers and handlers pushing them to the NBA as fast as they can or social media to enhance a prospect's profile and make him seem larger than life. If you made a name for yourself in those days, you were really that good and Dewan Wagner was all that and more. He was recruited by every school in the country, but settled for Coach Calipari and the Memphis Tigers as his choice, putting an end to a historic high school career. Stunt number one, adjusting to the NBA level and inefficient play. The first stunt in Wagner's growth was his inability to adjust in time to the NBA. Keep in mind the words in time because they'll be very important in stunt number two. 
At Memphis, Wagner continued his superstar play for the most part, and a lot of that is credit to Coach Cal's attitude, even back then, that if you play for him, he'll put you in the best situations to look appealing to the NBA. When Dewan went there, that couldn't be more true. He was the number one, two, and third option that season, as the second leading scorer on the team averaged a whole 10 points less than his 21 points a game average. That guy attempted 8 shots a game. Dewan, 18. That's right, 18 shots to average 21 points. He shot 45% from 2, 31% from 3, for 41% overall and also low 70s from the foul line. At the end of the day, everyone wanted Dewan Wagner to succeed and chose to focus solely on his points a game that was good enough to give hope to him possibly becoming one of the young faces of the NBA. A handful of NBA franchises at the time desperately needed the type of cult following he could bring, so his inefficiency was ignored and he was basically pushed out the door into a one-and-done situation, even Coach Cal revoking his scholarship after his freshman year to ensure Wagner would go pro and capitalize on the fame and notoriety his name carried. In hindsight, it's one of the greatest things Coach Cal has ever done for a player, and I'm sure Dewan appreciates him greatly for it because word was that Wagner thought about a sophomore season to improve his efficiency, but was advised otherwise by Calipari. But when he got to the NBA as the sixth pick in the 2002 NBA draft, his inability to score without high field goal attempts was noticeable, along with his inability to shoot from three at 31% as a rookie and 36% from the field. He averaged 13.4 points a game, taking 13 shots a game, and basically nothing else. Things got drastically worse in year two as a new king arrived in town. Stunt number two, ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis is a bowel disease that causes inflammation on the inner lining of the colon and rectum. It could feel like cramps, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and extreme fatigue, and could be why Dewan didn't perform as well as expected in his time in the NBA, especially from year two and on. Since high school, he'd complain about pain in his abdomen, but was known as a tough kid that could usually play through it and at a high level. In those days, it was almost expected you play through pain, not like today where a guy gets his ego hurt and sits out a whole year, is allowed to dress for the photos, and sit on the bench while still making over $20 million. But one day in 2005, the pain got too much to bear and Dewan was taken to the hospital and prepped for surgery to have half his colon removed. He missed the entire 05-06 season, still trying to recover from what can be a very long and serious procedure. The Cavaliers by that time were ecstatic about having hit the basketball lottery with LeBron James and were completely focused on his success, so did not pick Wagner's option on his rookie contract up and allowed him to leave and seek of opportunity elsewhere. Who knows if this injury wasn't the cause of why since high school things were different, but definitely after it was diagnosed and he had surgery, he wasn't the same. But who would be? Stunt number three, just not the same. After sitting out the 05-06 season recovering, Wagner had a brief opportunity in Golden State. Brief as in one single game. He scored 4 points, made his only 3 attempt, and played 7 minutes. He was then bought out of his 2 year $1.6 million contract by the Warriors and just like that, Dewan Wagner's NBA career was over. Why? Because unfortunately he just wasn't the same player or close to what the NBA had hoped they would get watching him dominate high school basketball. I've done his story before, but it always breaks my heart thinking about what he could have been because I really liked this guy as a player and respected his story for all it was. No one would be the same after going through a disease like that and sadly that was the biggest stunt to his growth. All in all, Dewan Wagner still lived a great basketball life. 
Yes, it peaked at the beginning and no one knew it would end like it did, but I'm sure it was worth it and now he gets to watch his junior have the same chance to be a healthy version of him and possibly become what he couldn't. Still a basketball legend in my eyes, salute, much respect, but for these reasons his growth was stunted. It's your boy JC, stunted growth, and I'm out.